All right, so this is your sunflower granny square and um, it's a very pretty, pretty motive. You can use it for whatever you like. And the colors that I used um, are a yellow. In, I'm using the Simply Soft Karen and I'm using a size 5.5 hook, but you can use whichever colors you like. This is the yellow and I used the blue, I used the green and I used a brown. But um, use whichever colors you like and um, let's right, get so started. So you're going to do your slip knot. I do have a video on how to do the slip knot if you're not sure. So you're going to start with this slip knot and then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain. And that gives you a little circle here or a little ring. And this is the ring that you're going to be working in. It's right over there. That just needs to be pulled in. It's pretty easy to find. You're just going to work in that ring. Now you're going to start off by doing three chain. So you're going to do three chain and then in this little ring you're going to do 15 double crochets. So you can see where I'm going in. It's right over there. So you're going to do 15 double crochets and including this one that'll give you 16 double crochets. So you want to do 16 of those and um, then we're going to change this color and we're going to go into our yellow. So just do that. Make sure that you've got 16 double crochets in this square and then in this circle and then just pull it tight. So we've got 16 going all the way around. Now you're going to slip stitch. This is the very first um, set of chains that you did. You're going to slip stitch in the top one. You're just going to do a slip stitch and bring your yarn through and then you're going to change your colors now I'm not yeah okay we'll we'll actually just finish so go through and then bring your yarn through so you can actually finish this off there are different ways of doing it um, but we'll just do it like that now you're going to take your new color and you're going to go into any one of these um, double crochets so I'm just going to go in do it this way and bring up your new color there's so many different ways of doing it as long as you find the way that you're comfortable with you should be good so you're going to bring that through let me show you one more time I just take my yarn you can actually do it from this side double your yarn like that and just bring it in through there and you've got it over here now what you're going to do is you're going to do um, chain four so you're going to do one two three four and this chain four in this row in all and in all the other rows is going to count as um, your double crochet chain one so always remember when you're starting your row it's a double crochet chain one and that's what the chain four represents and now you're going to do um, a double crochet in the next double crochet chain one so we're doing this all the way around and you should end up with 16 chain one spaces so I've got four chain and remember that means that's a double crochet plus a chain one and you're going to do that all the way around. So double crochet in your next double crochet or your double crochet space and chain one and you're going to do this all the way around. There's your next space so you're going to double crochet chain one next space double crochet chain one next space double crochet chain one and you're going to do this all the way around so that you have 16 all right, of so these we've gone spaces. all the way around you did your double crochet chain one double crochet chain one now what you should have is 16 of these spaces so that would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then with this one when you close it that's going to give you your sixteenth one so that's how you kind of check to make sure so now you're going to just slip stitch into this top one and you're going to finish this one off too. And as I say, there are a lot of different ways. You could have kept this slip stitched into this space with your new color, which I often do. But just for this video, we're going to do it this way. If you know different ways, obviously feel free to use those different ways. But that's how I'm going to do it in this video. So now you've just slip stitched off there. Now you're going to bring in your new color once again I double my yarn like this and you can go in any space 
and just bring your new color right, through. so with this row you started off with your chain three and then what I do is I hold this yarn to the back like this so that I can tie it in when I'm working so I don't have to sew it in so what you're going to do is you're going to do two double crochets so just make sure you've got your this piece of yarn like that in the back and make sure that you're going over it so you'll have double crochet double crochet so you have three double crochets over here chain one and then another three double crochets see your thread there just make sure that you keep getting him with your work like that so you do another three double crochets and this is forming your corner and you'll see now what I mean by the corner now you're going to have to leave him because you're going to skip this one and you're going to go into the next one and this one you're just going to do three double crochets so every second one you're doing your corner so there you've just done three so now you're going to skip this one and in this one you're doing another corner like this one so you're going to do another three double crochets and in between those you do the one chain so three double crochets one chain whoops one chain and then another three double crochets in the exact same spot and this is what's forming your corner and I'll show you right now what I mean so there you've got a corner that's just your in-between place and there you've got a corner and this is basically forming your little petal over here so you're going to skip the next one and you just because you did a doubles here you're just doing one set of double crochets which is one two three and then once again you're going to skip this one and now you're going to make another corner so you're going to have another set here one two three and you're going to separate it by one chain and in the same space do another set and you're going to do that all the way around until you get back to this spot over here and I will meet you back okay, there. Okay, so we're all the way back over here and you've done your three, you did a corner here and then you did your three double crochets there. Now you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your three chain that you had made in the beginning. If I can get mine through, you're going to slip stitch, gosh, I have not really made mine pretty tight. Okay, just slip stitch through and with this one you probably best to um, as I said the different ways you probably best to finish it otherwise if you want to get here one way of getting there is by just slip slip stitching across I can show you this technique you slip stitch across and into this little space here because this is where you ultimately want to be now so this is another way of doing it instead of just um, finishing your stitch over here I don't really finish mine like that because I'm not wild about the little just the way it finishes so this is the way that I generally would have finished it it just you don't even notice where you've gone so you just slip stitch across get into your little space here and then bring in your new color and once again you can fold it over like this and then just come through really just come through this stitch here you're gonna to have to pull your back stitch a little bit but there you you're ready to go and this one starts off with three chain now this is the one way to do it and you can't really see where you you did where you changed or when you slip stitch in here let me show you this is really the best way because you are not going to see this little thing here you just have to remember you're not going to see this stitch in the green so now you're going to slip stitch into this space so you're going to slip stitch in but don't do it in green you're going to do it in your blue so you're going to bring this through and just slip stitch right through and that gives you the best look out of all because now you're ready to start with your three chain so all I did was slip stitch across and then these if I'm doing double crochets in the same space which I am I'm going to I'm going to um, crochet over these threads so this one you start off with chain three now I'm going to and you're staying in this same spot these I'm going to crochet over like I showed you on the other one so you're going to do three double crochets well two including this first chain 
that's giving you your three and see we're working over this which is so nice because in the end you actually don't have to sew them in now you're going to do one chain and three double crochets in the same spot so this is giving you a corner so just work over these like that and you're going to do another set of three and that makes these two little snug I do still sew them in but you don't actually you don't really have to because they actually pretty solid there so you do your corner over here now you're going to three double crochet in this space so we're doing the, exactly the same thing as what we did on the other round except now you've got two of these spaces so we're going to do just three in here so one two three and you're going to do another three in this one and then you're coming up to your corner and you can see where your corners are and that's where you're going to do exactly the same thing with all the rest in this space now you're going to do your corner so it's three double crochets one two three double crochets and then chain one and then you're going to do another three in that same spot and this is the last row on your sunflower so there that's given you an idea of how to do it you're just doing your corners there with two in between so you're going to do that all the way around just keep doing the same thing that you did a set of three double crochets there set of three double crochets here and then this is your corner three double crochets chain one three double crochets and you do that all, all the right, way so around you've come all the way around and once again to finish you're just going to go in the top of this chain three that you made right in the beginning and you're going to slip stitch right through and then just finish off your work um, the only negative now is that you have strands to sew in there's your little granny square well it's a sunflower granny square supposed to be and what you do is you're going to have to sew these in now like I said because you you work these in here look here you don't actually have to sew these in unless you really want to you could just sew them in but otherwise you can just snip them off over there and they they, sh they should hold I usually do now for me I prefer to just sew them in just a little bit in there that's what your done. finished granny square looks like and um, I hope that this will help you and that you'll enjoy making it you can make a scarf out of it or anything whatever you want to make out of them and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.